Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our review discussion. And this time, we will be talking about the operations on algebraic expressions, or simply we say, the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of polynomials. And if you are grade 7 right now, and this is for you, this topic is on time for you. And if you are grade 8, grade 9, grade 10, and grade 11, consider this uh, topics as a review uh, topics for you because there are parts of your mathematics in your respective levels where you can apply this idea on how to add subtract multiply and divide polynomials or polynomial algebraic expressions okay let's begin first we will have the addition Polynomial algebra in our previous lesson uh, review lesson we talk about polynomials or when can we say that uh, the algebraic expression is polynomial and I hope you can still remember uh, those characteristics of algebra uh, so that um, it can be or they can be considered as polynomials. Okay, so to begin with this part of the operations on algebraic expression, let us recall that um, if you have mastered the addition of integers, then this will be very easy for you because all rules on how to add integers are applied here. And other than that, let us try to recall the so these following terms. Okay, so in algebraic expressions, um, there is what we call similar term or similar terms. These are algebraic expressions where variables and and their exponents are the same. Please remember this one because this idea will help you when or how to add polynomial algebraic expressions. Okay, so similar terms, these are algebraic expressions where Variables and their exponents um, means it means here that the exponent of the variable, where variables and their exponents are the same. Okay, so this is the idea. When can we say that these algebraic expressions are the same? For example, we have two uh, x and shall we say negative 5x okay so 2x and negative 5x these two different algebraic expressions are considered similar terms because the variables are the same other than this the exponent in the variable for example here in x the exponent is considered as positive 1 the same in negative 5x x here also has positive 1 as exponent. So therefore, these two algebraic expressions are considered similar terms. That's how you illustrate the similar terms. So regardless of what kind or what integer um, are there as coefficients of this variable, what is important here are the variables and the exponents. Another one, you may have this x squared, or shall we say x cubed, and 3x cubed, and perhaps another one, negative 10x cubed. 
Okay, so these three different algebraic expressions or polynomial, um, you call this also as similar terms because their variables are the same and also the exponents in the variables are also the same. So we call these algebraic expressions, these three different algebraic expressions as similar terms. I have these two examples uh, will give you the idea and refresh your stock knowledge about the illustration or how to illustrate similar terms in algebraic expression. For example, we have here negative um, 10x squared and positive 15x cubed, for example. Okay, so if you try to compare these two, uh, these two algebraic expressions, they have the same variables as x. And there's no question about it. And, but if you would compare their exponents, you can see that the first term, the first algebraic expression, has 2 as the exponent of the variable, while the second one, the exponent is 3. So that means their exponents are not the same. So therefore, negative 10x, as your conclusion, negative 10x and 15x, these two different algebraic expressions are not considered similar terms. Why? Because their exponents are not the same, although the variables are the same. Which means that when it comes to similar terms, the two characteristics, the variables and exponents, should be the same, so that the expressions are considered similar terms. Okay, that's it. That's how you compare when can we say that these algebraic expressions or polynomial expressions are considered similar in terms or non-similar in terms. If you have questions about this one, and you may ask me, or you may leave your comments if this one will be uploaded in my channel. Okay, now let's begin. I hope you already know. Let's begin with the addition of integers. Like for example, we have a negative, uh, shall we say, 5x plus 3x. Okay, or you may rewrite this one. This is what we call, by the way, the addition of monomial, meaning the algebraic expressions that we are adding here contains only one term. That is, or you may rewrite this given into a vertical arrangement so that you can see the clear picture what terms you are adding. Okay, so positive 5x plus positive 5, uh, 5x plus 3x. So the rule of uh, the rule of addition of uh, algebraic expression here, um, you need to apply the idea, the rules of how to add integers, and at the same time, the idea of similar terms. Okay, so before you add the uh, algebraic expression, you have to check if the two, if the given algebraic expressions are similar in terms or non-similar. If they are similar, because if they are similar like 5x and 3x, when you add these two, since they are similar because their variables and their exponents are the same, the first step that you are going to do is just bring down the variable and then add only the numerical coefficients using the idea of the addition of integers. So that means it becomes 5 or positive 5 plus 3. And the answer is 80. So therefore, when you add 5x and 3x, like 5x plus 3x, the answer is positive 8x. Can you see the idea, the process? It is just simple as this. If you have mastered the rules on how to add integers, and at the same time, your foundation on similar terms. These are the two things that you need to remember so that you can add correctly 
any given algebraic expressions. So that's it. As a final, 5x plus 3x is equal to positive 8x. That means uh, we have just broke down x as the similar variables and the exponent. Another one. Supposedly we have uh, this is the addition of monomial this time. Supposedly we have this um, negative 10x squared plus, uh, shall we say, 8x squared. Or, okay, what is the answer if negative, oh, when you add these two integers? I mean, two algebraic expressions. Negative 10x squared plus positive 8x squared. Or you may rewrite this in vertical arrangement. You have um, negative 10x squared plus positive 8x squared. Again, the first step that you are, you are going to do is to compare if these two algebraic expressions are similar or non similar. So since the variables and the exponents are the same, just the rule is just bring down the common variable and the exponent and add only the numerical coefficients that's negative 10 plus 8. So in this case, if you have mastered the rules on how to add two unlike signs in integers, you can just simply say that the answer is negative 2. So therefore, negative 10x squared plus positive 8x squared, the answer is negative 2x squared. As simple as that, if you have mastered the rules on how to add integers. Okay, so third example of the monomial, before we will proceed to the addition of algebraic expressions, uh, containing more than one terms. For example, you have negative 8x um, raised to the power of 2 plus 5, okay, plus negative 5x raised to the power of 2. What is the answer? Okay, so again, either you continue with this arrangement or you may write this given into vertical arrangement plus negative 5x squared. Okay, so to proceed, since the two polynomials or two algebraic expressions have the same variables and exponent, therefore, these two algebraic expressions, these two expressions are considered similar in terms. So, because of that, just bring down the common variable and the exponent and add only the integers or the numerical coefficients using the idea on how to add integers. If you could still recall the addition of integers, when we add similar signs, just bring down the common sign and add directly the number. So that's negative 8 plus negative 5. The answer is 13. So therefore, the final answer, negative 8x squared plus negative 5x squared, or written as this, the answer is negative 13x squared. As simple as that. Like I said before in my previous discussions, review discussions, that you need to master the four fundamental operations uh, for integers because that is the secret uh, for you to be able to take up or embrace algebraic expressions easily. Okay, so supposedly what will happen if you are adding algebraic expressions where the terms given are not similar? Like for example, we have x squared plus 2x, for example. What will happen? Or you may rewrite this into vertical that is x squared plus positive 2x. What is the answer? 
Okay, so since if you try to compare, since the exponents are not the same, even if the variables are the same, but their exponents are not the same because here the exponent is positive one automatic. Therefore, these two algebraic expressions are not similar. So since they are not similar, the given itself is automatically the answer. Just rewrite beginning with x squared and then plus the next one is 2x. That is automatic your answer. So that means x squared plus 2x because they are not similar, the given itself as a conclusion is already the answer. That's your answer. Okay, so that is why there is binomial, there is trinomial, there is multinomial. That is the result when you add algebraic expressions where variables or exponents are not the same. Okay, so if you need more examples um, on this part, you just have to comment and suggest your ideas if, again, this discussion will be uploaded in the channel. Okay, the next one is supposedly we have uh, 2x squared plus 3x and then this is binomial plus the quantity of uh, 6x squared plus 9x for example. What is the answer? So as you can see, number 5, uh, the addends here are binomials containing two terms in every okay, part. So that you can clearly see which terms you should add. Uh, you just have to rewrite this into vertical arrangement. The first one is 2x squared plus 3x. This one. And then copy the operation here. And then the second binomial as the second line of the addition that is 6x squared plus 9x. Okay. Either you would continue uh, this arrangement or you may rewrite the give into this form. It's up to you. So, for the first term here, since the variables and exponents are the same, just bring down. That's the rule when they are similar. And this one, you just have to add, make positive 2 plus positive 6. The answer is when you add to the same signs again, but um, when we discuss about addition of integers, when we add to the same signs, just simply bring down the common sign that is positive and add directly the numbers that is 2 plus 6, that is 8. So therefore, 2x squared plus 6x squared, the answer is okay plus i mean positive 8x squared and then proceed to the second term but before that you consider the operation since the operations are the same here so just bring down plus and then bring down the common variable x and add only the number that is positive 3 plus positive 9 that is 12 so therefore the quantity of 2x squared plus 3x plus the quantity of 6x squared plus 9x, the answer is 8x squared plus 12x. If um, your topics in algebraic expressions are continuous, you did not miss any discussions um, during your regular classes inside the classroom, you would find out class that addition or operations on, on algebraic expressions are very easy given that you have the foundation of this addition of integers that is the secret. I keep on repeating that because there are still many of you who did not able to value and see the application and the advantage when you have mastered the operations on integers. That's the thing that you need so that everything about algebraic expressions, about algebra in general, 
are very easy for you. Okay, so this is what we call the addition of binomial. Now let's proceed to the next example. We're still in addition of algebraic expressions. Another example we have, supposedly we have um, 3x um, q plus 2x squared and then plus 5x cubed minus 3x. The two given addends are still considered as binomials or the addition of binomials. So just the same, you just have to rewrite this given into vertical arrangement that is the first binomial is 3x cubed plus 2x squared and then copy the operation here and then the next line will be the second line will be 5x cubed and then okay negative 3x supposedly you have written the second line in this form okay if you have encountered this kind of examples just for example this one if you just have to write the second line directly without comparing the given exponents and variable, then tendency you have written the second line in this form. Okay, so try to compare these two, this one. So as you can see, they have the same variables and exponents, so therefore these two are similar terms. And proceed to the second terms. The, the first is 2x squared and the second line is negative or so we say minus 3x squared, considered as negative, uh, negative technically. And if you try to compare this two given here, these two given polynomials or algebraic expressions, their exponents are not the same, even if their variables are the same. So therefore, 2x squared and 3x are not similar. So therefore, you cannot add them, combine them, you cannot combine these two into a single algebraic expression. So what you will do, since you cannot add this directly, you have to um, rewrite minus 3x a distance from the below of this 2x squared. So that means you place here negative 3x since if you try to place this under 2x squared, you cannot add this to directly because their variable exponents are not the same. And after that, you just have to add or combine um, which um, terms are similar. So in this case, 3x cubed plus 5x cubed are considered similar, so you just have to add this to, to bring down x cubed and then add directly 3 plus 5, that is 8. Okay, then what you should be doing with this 2x squared and minus 3x? Okay, for this part, since 2x squared doesn't have any terms below that can be added to 2x squared, what you should do is just bring down this one directly. And then, copy the operation that is plus. Then, for this minus 3x, since there is no term above as the first line, you just have to bring down 3x also. Bring down 3x, including the operation which is minus. So, the resulting algebraic expression here as the sum is considered trinomial algebraic polynomial or trinomial polynomial algebraic expression. Trinomial because the sum has three terms. Polynomial because it, okay, because the characteristics of algebraic expressions like um, 
the exponents are positive, the variables okay, uh, doesn't have any denominators and at the same time um, the exponent the exponents in the variable are not rational expression or rational or are not radical expression so that is why we mentioned that this sum this algebraic expression is also considered polynomial so therefore when you add the quantity of 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus the quantity of 5x cubed minus 3x the answer or the sum is 8x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x that's the result when some of the terms being added are not similar or the terms are not similar okay another possible example or case we have here for example um x squared plus okay, plus nine x and then the quantity of x squared plus 9x plus the quantity of, uh, shall we say, 2x cubed minus, shall we say, minus 5. What is the answer? Okay, so just recall earlier or a while ago, I also included the idea what will be the result if the terms you are adding are not similar okay so to see the clear picture here the illustration you may rewrite into vertical that is x squared plus 9x then after that the tendency is when you rewrite the second binomial you may rewrite this one into under x squared that is 2x cubed minus 5 so as you can see x squared and 2x cubed are not similar terms because their exponents are not the same even if their variables are the same. But at the same time, 9x and 5 are also not the same or not similar terms because 9 has variable while 5 doesn't have a variable x. So what you will do is rewrite the given in the arrangement of the exponents from highest to lowest or in uh, descending order that means the degree of that polynomial will be the first term okay descending in descending order just like this one so therefore you may write is given this 2x cubed here 2x cubed here um, as the first term before you will mix the second degree or to as the exponent because as much as possible when you add the result the arrangement of the result should be in descending order that's the standard form of the polynomial algebra expression then also the term which doesn't have any variable you have to rewrite that one not under the 9x so after this you just have to add bring down if there are no terms that can be added so in this case uh, for 2x cubed since there is no first line above here you just have to bring down 2x cubed and then bring down x squared since there is no other term here below x squared and then that's for you to determine after bringing it down that's for you to determine what will be the operation here since there is no operation so if the given is positive here since x squared is positive automatic you will uh, use positive as plus here as the operation between 2x cubed plus x squared then after that you proceed to the next one since there is no term here below 9x you just have to 
bring down the index, and then including the operation which is plus. Then for the last term, since above negative 5x, there is no term to be combined with negative 5x, you just have to bring down 5. And originally, negative 5 is minus here, so you just have to bring down this as a minus. So therefore, as you can see, there are no actual terms being added here. So the given itself, x squared plus 9x, the quantity of x squared plus 9x, plus the quantity of 2x cubed minus 5, are considered the sum. Okay, are considered the actual sum. But all you have to do is to rearrange the exponents, the terms, where the exponents are in descending order. Beginning with 2x cubed plus x squared and then plus 9x minus 5. So the result is considered multinomial or the algebraic expression or the polynomial that has four terms. That's what we call multinomial. While the algebraic expression or polynomial expression having three terms like this one, we call this as trinomial. Okay, so that's it. That's the example number six. And supposedly we will consider this last example for the okay, addition of algebraic expression. Okay, supposedly for the last example we have negative six x cubed plus um, 2x squared minus 10 and then your plus uh, 3x cubed minus 5x squared plus If you would try to compare the given here inside the parenthesis, um, H1 has three terms, first, second, third, and first, second, third. And at the same time, the operation between terms are also not the same. This is intended for you to recall when are you going to, or what are you going to do, or what you should do when you add terms, or when you add uh, Expressions where signs are not the same. Okay, so we see the clear pictures here that you are adding this algebraic expression, rewrite it in the vertical arrangement. So we have negative 6x cubed plus 2x squared minus 10x. So as you can see, the cube, the squared, and the constant. So look for the cube here and then you may write 3x cube under uh, under C negative 6x cube so we have 3x cube and then since this is positive so positive here and the operation plus you place that one here next is minus 5x squared so we have x squared as variable and squared as exponent so we can see here as the same so you place minus 5x squared under the plus of x squared so we have minus 5x squared the most important thing here is you can see that um, the terms that are considered similar are arranged for, uh, vertically and then the constant is plus 6 then after that combine so as you can see like you said while ago the example number 7 is intended for you to recall the addition of unlike sign. Okay, let's begin. For the first term, since the, all the variables and exponents are the same, you just bring down as part of the answer. And then what you should do is add only the numerical coefficients that is negative 6 plus 3. Can you still recall? What is the result when you add two unlike signs? Simply the result, if you have mastered this one, simply the result is uh, 
negative 3. So again, if uh, you did not able to report or master the operations and integers, I suggest you go back to the other uh, review discussions that I uploaded in the channel and try to rewatch the video for you to okay, refresh your knowledge about this one. And then for the second term, we have x squared as the common variable and exponents so bring it down as the common. And then add only this one, including the signs of this is technically positive 2 and negative 5. So positive 2 plus negative 5. So since their signs or operations are not the same, so you just have to get the difference that is 2 plus negative 5. So that is... Uh, since their signs are not the same, you just have to get their difference, that is 3, and copy the sign of the integer that has bigger absolute value, that is negative. So, negative 3. But since there is a uh, term here before negative 3x, therefore, you would change the negative as the operation as minus. If there is term before negative 3x squared. So the negative becomes minus here. Then after that, you add this constant state. So negative 10 technically, this is negative 10 plus positive 6. So addition of unlike sign. So what is the result? Can you tell me? So the result is you have to get their difference since their signs are not the same. That is 4. And since 10 has bigger absolute value and the operation or sign is negative, it is considered as negative. But since there is term here before, consider that this is minus. So that's it. That is how you combine algebraic expressions like having three terms. You just have to be careful which terms are similar. So therefore, negative 6x cubed or the quantity of negative 6x cubed plus the uh, 2x squared minus 10 plus the quantity of 3x cubed minus 5x squared plus 6 the sum here is negative 3x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4 as your final answer so just up to that example and if you have any questions or clarifications you may ask by posting your comments if again I will be uploading this uh, discussions in my channel okay so for you to practice try to answer this one and when we come back on our classroom discussions uh, you may explain this on the board. The number one given is negative 2x cubed plus 18x cubed. And the second is negative 10x squared plus 6x raised to the power of 4. And the number three given is the quantity of negative 5x cubed 
plus 3x squared plus the operation here and the quantity of 9x cubed minus 10x squared plus 5. So if you think you can answer this uh, given for you to practice and then you may uh, present that one in front of the class when we come back to our regular classes. So we will take a short break and after a few minutes we will come back and we will proceed to the subtraction of algebraic expressions and thank you.